Hello and welcome back to the continuation of uh, initial conditions using code string. So let's work in this case. So see that here we have, a, let's say, a multiphase case, and we want to do this. We want to initialize this interface here, which follows this sinusoidal initialization. Okay, so we have seen in the previous case how to do it, so it should be relatively easy for you to do it now. So basically, remember you enter the file that you want to initialize, modify. So in this case, this phase one, no, the the bottom fraction, and just implement here your initialization. Okay. So, so look at that in this case, a standard. Okay. So this is access internal mesh information initialize. This is your standard loop to access all cells. And here, just simply in this case here, see that access cell coordinates. Okay, we want to access only X and Y. And here you put your function and that's all. Okay, easy peasy. So let's go into this case. Well, and basically if you want to run the case, this is what you have, okay? This initialization, okay? So probably getting this sinusoidal, no STL, if you're using a cat software, it might not be relatively easy, okay? Or Probably yes, probably no, it's up to you. But see that this is much simpler than going, you not know, opening your cat software and doing everything. So you put it here and it's just a copy and paste. So let's work out with this case. And we have it located here, Rally Taylor. So as you go into your tutorials, Rally Taylor, open zero org, and see that you have it here. Okay, so I see that you have your initialization here. And that's all. Okay, so let's open, let's go there. So remember, you just need to type block mesh, and then when you launch Paraphone, you will be able to visualize that on the fly. Okay, so if I open, let me access, ta, ta, ta. okay, I need first, okay, remember that you have zero org. Put it into zero when you launch now Paraphone, it should compile everything on the fly. Okay, and you should be able to visualize that. Or you can run your simulations and you will have those those values. Okay, it's up to you. So see that you have it there. Okay. Uh it's not very smooth, it's not very nice because remember it depends on the mesh resolution. Okay, so just to, con to convince you that depends on the mesh resolution. Let's go in black mesh and let's change the mesh okay so see that uh, what i'm going to do is just erase this man uh, this here this comment and we double double here okay you erase this one okay you are reopen so we're doubling the mesh dimension so now we should have a nicer interface see here that now this is much nicer okay and just to show you also that that you're actually modifying that let me go here okay and for instance let's modify this one and instead of putting this let me put I don't know 85 there or I know what I'm going to get there so just multiplying that uh, erase the previous one okay or probably you need to erase because it, it will detect that the file change and it will recompile it automatically. And voila, see that now something different. Okay, and that's all. Okay, so as you see, it's very straightforward this initialization. Okay, so that being said, we're done with this case. If you want, also you can run the case, it's the standard case, and you put there and see that it's recompiling. Okay, and then it's running in the standard way. Okay, so let me stop it in the brutal way. I open Paraphone. And I go here and see that you have your solution. So let me do some cleaning here. And let's continue with the, with the other tutorial that we have. Okay, so the other one that we have, so we address this one. The other one is related with the one that was code, fi code, code fix value okay, that we implemented here. Okay, So to implement this, you can use code fix value or you can also use code string. There is no problem. So here I'm 
going to show you now what is called the value. What we're going to do is exactly the same case, but now also we're going to initialize the water level. So this is a super easy initialization we, so we can use actually, but just to show you that you can combine everything with no problems. So basically the difference here is you go into alpha water, see that you have internal fill, call the string, relative physical string. So everything below 0.2 put water, otherwise it's, it's zero because we're initializing here to zero. And then for the boundary condition, see that left, and you just insert the same boundary condition as in the previous vector, okay? So you can use also code, code, code fix value, code string, there is no problem, it's up to you. And this is our simulation, okay? So this is what we're going to get. So this case we have located, okay, okay, the location, you don't have it there, okay, I need to add that new slice point in the location but this case in is filling box bc i i see okay you enter here and see that you have it there difference here everything is the same is you open bonded initial conditions you're going to see here that there you have the implementation so see that for you we are only using in this case here the code mix value. We use code mix value also because we uh, because we want to access time. Okay, that time is not as straightforward to access using. Or actually, we are not accessing time here. Okay, we don't have time. Okay, it's continuously injecting water, and then as you enter into water, see that you can combine. So here you have code stream and you have your initialization for the water. Okay. And then here you have your code mix value, okay? And then here you have your initialization. So in this case, you need to use this one to take the value, okay? Remember, okay, here we have the time. Uh, actually also, ta -ta 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 -ta. oh yeah, yeah, we have time here. So I put, it, I put it directly here. I didn't declare, I put it here, okay? So yeah, we'll see. That. So see that, that, that is why we're using here in this case, uh, Code fix value because we needed time, but you could you could have done done it also code stream, but it's not a straightforward access time there. So that's all now. Let's go to this directory. Okay, and let's run. Okay, so I think nothing to comment there. You can run in parallel. You can do all everything in the standard way. So see here that it's doing the compilation, and at this point, okay. Let me go here, part of fun. And run in the standard way. So here you have my signature minimum maximum that I always compute and running the standard case, you know how to set up numerics, everything. So here we're only focusing initial boundary conditions and see that you can mix this code stream with no problem. And let's see our outcome here. Okay, you have a part of you there. So usually when you see part of you, usually you have there a predefined state. So let me go there and open it. Uh, save state, and let me save it. And see that this is what we have, okay? A starting point, you have the water there, you initialize the surface level, and then you have it entering and you are going to have all this interaction now. Then the splash there and all the interaction. But what is important here that we did the selection here using code fix value, we apply now also the time dependency and we initialize this water level here using uh, Pashi interface. So, uh, and to clarify that also uh, using code stream, sorry, what is happening here with and just to clarify this here, that probably here it is clearer to see what is the effect. So let me comment this. Okay, so if I go block mesh, let me raise zero, let me copy here, and I can go right ahead, open Paraphon, okay, apply
and it's doing the its compilation and now go here and see that all patches you have this that that information and in particular in this one here okay in left wall okay so see that it's not taking this information okay so this what it's doing is that in this patch take the value of the initialization so in the others it took it because it's zero grading so this is equivalent to a zero grading okay so extrapolate the value so in this case we need it so now i enable this option so let me go back again And now I launch. So it's doing it, its compilation. And now I go here and see that. Okay. Bam, bam, bam. Okay. Bam, bam. It's not taking the body. Ah, actually, I need, I need to run. Okay. It needs to run one iteration at least. Okay, let's stop everything. So let me go here to run one single iteration. Start and let me go here and put here right now. Okay, and so zero, uh, bum, 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 bum. Have it there, there. Compiling and voila, one single iteration. And let's visualize the results. See that now you have the value here. Instead, if you don't use that, it's not going to take that value there, okay? Because you are not using the zero, the zero grading. Okay, so let's see that. Let's do it now with this. I'm um, probably will crash, uh, I think, or probably they uh, they already fixed this. Okay, let's see what's happening. It's doing the compilation, and everything, and off you go. One iteration, and uh, now part of them built in. See that it didn't take that value there. So that is like to force also extrapolate that value. Okay, so that in this case is important, but also in the previous case it was important, but that water level wasn't reached and all that. But always he in this case put it, okay, so you extrapolate that value into the, that surface patch, but remember the internal cells, you, you are going to have your actual solution there as it should be. So that's all for code string, and let's say for the programming that, the level of programming that we want just to deal here is a very uh, <clears throat> basic level, but it will let you do a lot. Remember, you have this supplement, and that supplement there you have more advanced stuff okay but i i don't want to confuse you at, at a larger level but here you have supplement seven okay and there are many advanced topics you have there the description and you have there the explanation step by step by okay reading but i don't want to go into details okay so just to mention for instance that i mentioned those functions to access some specific mesh information so see that for instance, you want to access the volume, the access function is B, SF, the phase area vector, magnitude, the cell center, phase center, and the fluxes. Okay, so these are the functions that you are going to use most of the time. And here you have some steps how to access some particular information in the mesh. This is the, dif the difference between the for all, which is specific of open phone, and the for loop, the standard for loop in, 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 in C++. Okay and then some basic operators okay so you just can go here you have basic uh, test cases there that you can follow and then here you go into the high level programming this here's where things get confusing and honestly i think that probably 99 percent of the times you will 
be able to program your boundary conditions using code fix value or code string. So try to stay away from this as much as possible. But if you kind of program that using the code fix value or code string, you will need to do that. Here you have your basic steps how to do that. Then you have here a little bit how to implement applications from a scratch. Okay, but again, you need to know the API and that is difficult. Plus, you need to know some C++ programming. So that is all for this for, for this chapter, chapter seven. Okay, the next chapter we move to advanced physics and we're reaching the end the end of this training material. Okay, so have your question ready and see you in the QA session. Bye.